Natasha, I'm 22 years old. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I was born and raised here. Well, what inspired my love for music was when my mom took me to an opera show when I was two years old. And that started a whole new thing for me. And ever since I was two years old, I've wanted to be the same thing, which was originally an opera singer. That's what inspired my biggest love for music. We lost it all. The love is gone. She has won. Now it's no. Well, my main influences, there's a couple of them, but my main influence is, I have to say, Evanescence. I've loved them for over 12 years. They actually came out first in Germany, and that's where I heard them for the first time. I was living in Germany at the time, and that just started a whole new thing for me. I was obsessed with them, and I still am. Um, my other influences would have to be classical composers, which would come from Mozart, all the way through Verdi and Bach and it's just a whole different thing for me. I love rap, I love everything so pretty much everyone's an influence for me and the reason that I love everything is because there's no music that's not worth listening to. My favorite classical composition would have to be the Requiem by Mozart. He wrote that on his deathbed, right after he wrote, which is actually my favorite opera, which is the Die Zauberflöte, which is the magic flute. And he wrote that on his deathbed, he was actually asked to write it, and they knew it would make him sick because he was so talented at writing music that he couldn't stop himself from writing it and everything was always crammed in his head and he could remember pages and pages of music. It was just amazing. Cold as ice and more bitter than a December when it's night. That's how I treated you and I know that I I sometimes tend to lose my temper and I cross the line. That's the truth. I know it gets hard sometimes, but I could never leave your side, no matter what I say. Cause if I wanted to go. You can start from nothing to becoming practically anything. Anything is worth doing. And if you really, really work for something, you can make it there. And that'll always be true for anything you do. Whether it's psychology, music, you know, helping someone, helping yourself, helping your family, helping friends. Well, my biggest hopes and dreams would be to actually, you know, be able to send a message to people that you can do anything. It doesn't matter what weight you are, what size you are, whether you're small, big, doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, where you come from, what you've been through, you can really do anything. And, you know, just try. If you just try, it was worth it. Well, what I would most like to learn from being on The Voice would be to actually, you know, strengthen my voice and, you know, learn different techniques that I haven't learned yet. That would be my biggest goal because there's certain things I don't know yet. And any one of the coaches could give me a chance to learn what I haven't learned yet. They're all talented in their own way. They're all talented, period. Whether it's Adam, whether it's CeeLo, whether it's Blake, or whether it's Christina, 
they all have their own special way of working and I would love to work with any of them. What's the blah blah blah? All right. Um. <laughs> what I would blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Okay. What was the question? What I would blah blah. Would you... <laughs> what I would like. Best enactment of Adam, and she goes, okay. No, <gasps> boom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I, I, I haven't seen that part yet. That's Adam for you. Yeah.